Hi there, I'm Cloak Fiend and today we're going to be experimenting with acetone, ethyl acetate and methylene chloride. I know these two pretty well but I've never really tried anything with this one and I heard it's extremely aggressive in comparison with the other two. We're basically doing it to try to create a very smooth surface on our PLA printed models. Now I'm using Carlafab PLA for this but I do know that it works with Innerfill and some of the old Ultimaker brand which apparently was Innerfill but I've also seen when I heard other people talking that it works with other brands but we're just sticking to Colourfab for this one just so you know. Alright I'm back luckily I found three identical models best possible outcome that way it's not biased in terms of size or different materials they're all Dutch orange Colourfab and one of them's going to be to that the other to that to the other you get the drift and um just for all the people who keep on asking how long does this take or how long you you know applying the stuff for I put a clock in the corner so if you want to figure out how long just calculate it yourself so first up I'm just going to do my usual stuff which is a little bit of sanding just to remove the kind of kind of the finishing part on the top and whatever any kind of subtle areas I consider this a must if you want the kind of perfect that perfect finish so um, I'm going to go ahead and do that and you can watch the time to see how long it takes me. All right. All right. Now as it stands, I haven't actually prepared the, um, the models to be sprayed yet, which is stupid. So um, you just have to, I'm just going to leave these for the moment. I still have to actually open the acetone as well so what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of minutes is preparing a syringe or something to load the various amounts of these solvents that I'll need and I'll be applying and applying them with an airbrush so I'll just be putting them in there with a the pipette spraying each one separately and I'll mark each model so this will be acetone with an A this will be ethyl acetate with an E and this will be the methylene chloride and I'll put an M for that so we're going to check that's just to make sure I know which one's which alright I'm just going to go and open everything and get it all ready okay it's been a while I've had a lot of trouble actually taking this damn lid off the, the acetone so if anyone has a quick method of doing that without like spending ages trying to force it off like these kind of caps then please let me know so anyhow, we'll get on with the, the spraying testing now. Okay, so here we have the, the acetone all loaded up here and ready to go. And my model here with the A. But before we start, I just want to say we're playing with chemicals. So I've got a respirator mask on because I don't want to be breathing this stuff in. And neither should you, just like the sanding. So make sure you wear something if you're going to be messing around with these chemicals just to stay safe. All right, here we go. One thing's for sure, that stuff that comes just goes nowhere. I filled a little tank up and it's gone already, so um, I'm not sure how effective it is spraying in comparison to dipping, but I'll carry on anyway. Okay, that's the acetone one done, but um, I've got to be honest with you, the airbrush pushes it out at such a speed that you, I don't, I'm not sure if, if enough is collecting on the actual surface. It, it seems to be spraying it on but blowing it off at the same time. So I'm not sure how good this method is in comparison to a dip and I still think it's far more wasteful because you get pretty much, I mean when you dip it, the liquid remains in there. With this stuff, once I put the liquid in it, it, it just, it's just gone. So um, I still reckon dipping will be more effective it seems to be sweating more now it's, it's as opposed to the dip but whatever i'll give it whatever a couple of hours we'll see how it looks even maybe half an hour i'll come back to it it seems quite cold which is a good sign so that's the the acetone next i'm gonna do the ethyl acetate
Right, so that's all of them done and um, I'm just going to let them sit there for a while and then we'll have a look at them in a bit. In all honesty I don't think this method is a good one because not enough of the chemicals is deposited for it to have a decent enough effect that I'm used to anyway so uh, I probably won't be doing the, the, the airbrush spray on method and I'll continue to brush it on or to dip it as before. Alright, we'll see how these look close up in a minute. This is a, a previous, previously done one that I'm just going to compare them to. So this one here is a classic example of what an acetone print will look like. It goes all kind of weird and white and gets gets kind of shiny as well as you can see here. This print is not the best one in fact. It's got a couple of lines as you can see in the reflection there. Mm -mm, methyl acid, there you go. So that's all of them side by side. And as you can see they all this one you can see subtle layer lines there in the light. This one you can see the subtle layer lines in the light. And this one, can you see them? See, see not as much. Anyway, I'm going to go and do a dip now. And then, um, in fact, I'm going to get the stuff here and do it indoors. Alright, so I've got myself a brush. And I'm just going to be brushing it on the fact because uh, I can't, I don't want to pour it out into three separate, I don't have enough containers for this all so first off is the acetone methylene chloride alright the methylene chloride one is noticeably stickier than the others for some reason alright and we'll have a look at those in a little bit Hi there, I'm back again after spraying them this time and we'll just kind of go over which ones are which and um, have a little look close up. So first one is acetone and with the acetone, funnily enough, it wasn't as great as I'm kind of used to. Again, I've applied such a thin coat here, this is literally showing you what the surface is actually like that you can't see because of the weird filament reactions so here you've still got lines lines you know a couple of the stepper lines there i did sand a little bit off but again within the eyes and the face i didn't sand much on the face so you can still see some lines so that's the acetone one <clears throat> now the ethyl acetate actually fared a little better as in it doesn't have as much lines but they're still there you can see them on the face here and there there you go and that's what it looks like overall and that's the ethyl acetate Look at the acetone one as well. So that's the face. Now, the methylene chloride one, if you look at the face, you don't get those lines. In fact, there are no lines anywhere on this one. And they've all been equally treated, so I'll try and do the classic comparison thing. It's difficult. So the methyl chloride one, or methylene chloride, with the ethyl acetate comparison side by side comparison there methylene the acetone comparison so that's what they look like quality wise you can see from the subtle shading and lighting that the methylene chloride one is better so mist or oh, methylene chloride is the winner for short brush on attempts perhaps longer dips with acetone might achieve the similar results but it's actually looking pretty promising so uh, my next model I'll actually I'll do with methylene chloride all right thanks for watching